coming to independent lens. We can't afford to waste the capacities, the contributions of the gay and lesbian Americans either. As soon as he tried to lift the ban, opposition forces mounted. You're fooling around with people's lives just for a sexual experiment. Open homosexuality in a unit setting is incompatible. You can't go to psychologists, you can't go to psychiatrists. I ended up talking to my supervisor about it, and my supervisor turned me into my command. I speak Arabic, I speak four other languages, and I'm sitting at home not being able to serve in the military like I want to. How do you say to this group, you can't serve? We don't want you in the military. And I came up with this compromise, don't ask, don't tell. Homosexuals cannot serve at all, and now they can. But in order for you to serve, you have to be silent and celibate. I have to create ex-wives and pregnant girlfriends. Pretty much everybody knew I was gay. My whole target, unit, they don't care. But at the same time, as soon as you come out, you're always going to be paranoid that one of them's going to decide to take issue with it. The policy is the reason why I'm not realistic. It used to be in the military, they try to pick the best and brightest and keep them. And now you've set up a whole different standard. When we got here, the Chicago police were lined up outside the doors. We have a war, we don't have enough recruits, uh, and they, they closed their center today. We are both openly gay people. I can't sign you up. Women do not have any business being there, and homosexuals don't either. I regret the don't ask, don't tell policy because it's been abused by people who were anti-gay to try to make the situation worse than it was before. Sex, anything to do with that is the last thing on your mind when your life's in danger. 